After apologizing for her joke about choosing a non-black sperm donor, Dobrat flaunts her growing baby bulge as she takes the stage at the 2023 Black Music Honors. After publicly apologizing for a joke she made about her and her wife's choice to use a non-black sperm donor, Dobrat was seen for the first time on Friday. The 49-year-old performer appeared on stage at the Cobb Energy Performing Arts Center in Atlanta, Georgia, for the 2023 Black Music Honors. She performed while wearing a basic white t-shirt under a loose khaki button-up top to display her expanding baby bulge. She accessorized with a cotton headband, a sparkling silver watch, and pigtails in her hair. Dobrat bounced her belly between verses as the band played music in the background. She addressed the criticism of her comments about not choosing a black sperm donor on the Tamron Hall show a few days before. She claimed to have never intended to offend anyone and that her remarks had been taken way out of context, according to the host. I apologize if I insulted anyone. According to a People article, Dobrat claimed that the joke was between himself, his wife, and the doctor and wasn't intended to be insulting in any way. On a recent episode of their reality series Brat Loves Judy, Dobrat and his wife Jessica Judy Harris Dupart, 41, were shown meeting with their reproductive specialist and discussing their choices. Only 224 donor samples could be used by the couple once Jessica's genetic testing findings were taken into account. Only one of these donors was black. They were told by their reproductive doctor, Dr. Opai Asimoda, that there are not enough black donors, black sperm donors, black egg donors. The only black donor they had, Dobrat, whose real name is Shanti Harris Dupart, then made light of the fact that he resembled Jiminy Cricket. The Jiminy Cricket joke was quickly met with outrage from social media users, who theorized that the couple simply didn't want to utilize a black donor. Dobrat joined Judy on Tamron Hall to provide background information for her remarks. I made jokes about practically everyone I encountered, and this particular one just so happened to be featured in the program. She claimed, I wasn't trying to be nasty or say anything bad about black people. We were hoping for a black donor, the native Chicagoan continued. We wanted a black donor because we are black. Thus, it was simply misinterpreted and taken completely out of context. Last week, in response to the uproar, a frustrated Jessica posted on her Instagram, So, as a mother of three beautiful black kids, and even a black grandbaby, I want to clarify as to avoid this storyline from continuing that we chose our donor based on looks, and that we didn't want a black donor. One we had no idea going into this that our chances of a black donor would be limited to none, she said, launching into a seven-point justification of her and Daw Brat's decision. Two that I carried so many different diseases. 3. That due to age and other factors, our window was SOOO narrow and we were at such a high risk. 4. With my genetic testing I'm the carrier of 4 disorders, which reduced our chances of a black donor down to one person and that one person had very limited info, portfolio to judge on. Including background, Jessica continued. 5. I'm honestly more dissatisfied than anything in the storyline, she said but be aware of the lack of understanding about IVF in our community because many people are unaware of all the factors involved in the process, such as genetic testing, age at which most of your eggs have been lost, and lack of black donors, Jessica admitted. Six, the headlines are misleading but also my wife made a degrading joke and now it's attached to the headline and making it seem like we chose solely based on looks and we didn't at all attempt to find a black donor when in fact not only did we try but we also waited to see if more would pop up over time, but had to stay within the window that we had to choose, she said. Furthermore, people think that anything is possible just because you have money, but no amount of money was changing the cryobank's inventory. Further, Jessica wrote, 7 our baby created with a healthy baby first perspective once we knew all the things, was a hard decision and of course we didn't want to bring any other stigmas or anything to our child but we had severely limited options. Thanks to all the people supporting us on our journey, she said, and I truly hope this brings awareness to more black men to donate. After being married in February of last year, Dobrat and Jessica excitedly announced a year later that the former is expecting their first child together. I never imagined having children, Dobrat said to people. I simply believed that I wasn't going to be successful. I've had a successful profession and a rich life. I believe that since I hadn't gotten pregnant before, I wouldn't be able to have children. But her friendship with Jessica gave her the inspiration to start looking at life so differently. I said, let a little of me be with you. Something precious that we can both share, nurture, and adore without condition.